Hello, everybody, it's me again, and welcome to Assassin's Creed Origins! Ah! Oh my god, I am so excited to finally play this. Holy shit, I have been waiting for an Assassin's Creed in Egypt. Ancient Egypt was always my preference, but at the at one point, I was just kind of like, you know what? Any era in Egypt will do, but we're getting Ancient Egypt. I've literally been waiting four years for this, and pr probably more than four years. Oh my god, guys, and I can't believe it's finally here. We had a year break last year with no new Assassin's Creed, and uh, now it's finally time to continue the story. I am all caught up. I have, um, since the release of Syndicate, I have read the Black Flag novel. I have read the Underworld novel, all about Henry Green, or the Ghost, as he was known for a while. And I've even watched the movie. A couple weeks ago, I finally sat myself down and watched the goddamn movie. And thank god I did. I won't go into spoilers for those of you who haven't seen the movie, but something tells me the present day of this game, which I am super stoked about as well, is going to, you know, build off of what happened in the present day in, in the movie. And this is a little loud, so I'm gonna turn it down. But, uh, yeah, what happens in the movie is big. Like, I was, you know, throughout most of the movie, I'm just like, okay, how does this connect to the rest of the lore besides the little Easter eggs they've hidden everywhere? You know, those were neat to see, but it's like, okay, but how does it connect to the events of the story? Because it seemed very separate for a long time. And then the ending of the movie happened, which I won't spoil, again, unless the game spoils it and I have to elaborate. Until then, they'll keep my mouth shut. Um, and I was just, I was watching the end of the movie and I'm just like, okay, that's actually big. Like, that's actually huge in terms of the story, and I'm glad that, you know, I watched it, so now I'm all caught up on the lore and the stuff that's been happening in this year break, and we're finally ready to play this game. And I can't believe it's here. Now, see, another thing I want to address just before we start. You may notice that uh, in previous episodes of other games, you might have seen Edward Kenway hanging out on this shelf back here. Um, well, I cleared it out. And I squeezed all my statues together up here uh, to make room for my Bayek statue when I got my Dawn of the Creed Collector's Edition uh, in the mail, which was supposed to come yesterday. But I got an email from Ubisoft yesterday morning that said, we've had to delay a lot of pre-orders for Assassin's Creed Origins, and mine was one of them, so I'm not getting my Collector's Edition until October 30th, they said, which sucks. But they did give me a free digital code for the game to play, so I didn't have to wait to play the game, which is awesome. They're also sending me a free lithograph for my troubles, so I'm upset, but I still love you, Ubisoft, and uh, you know what? Without further ado, let's get into this. I'm so freaking excited to see where this game takes us. Not even just the animus portions in Egypt, but in the modern day. I'm one of those people that loves the modern day. I really like the modern day. It hasn't been doing much lately in the last few years, but what it has been doing, I really like. Uh, audio language pack. Oh, well that kind of sucks. You have to download your language if you don't speak English. It's kind of a bummer. But, you know, I assume it wouldn't take that long. But anyway, we're English. Oh, X to continue. That's odd. Setting it to fit my screen parameters. I love the music too. The music is done by Sarah Schachner. 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 However you pronounce your last name. And she collaborated with Chris Tilton to do the soundtrack for Unity. So that's pretty cool. Adjust the brightness until the symbol is barely visible. I can't even see a symbol. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, that'll do. And there he is. There's Bayek. Now again, this is a digital download code that I was given, so this isn't my pre-order version. So I don't have my Season Pass DLC stuff, this is just the vanilla game. But I will be getting all the DLC and Season Pass stuff within a few days, meaning I'm gonna have to play all this over again. But, I don't care. So first things first, let's go to Options, and look for Subtitles. Speaker Name. Oh, like who's talking? Like Bayek, colon, blah, 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 blah. I don't think we need that. Subtitle display on. I think it's time, guys. It's been a long wait. It's been such a long wait. 
And not only am I finally getting an Ancient Egypt Assassin's Creed game, which is a dream come true, it is also... The, the lead of the project is Ashraf Ismail, the guy who is the creative director for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, which still, to this day, is my favorite Assassin's Creed game to date. So this is more than a dream come true, and I am so excited! And I've been going for seven minutes and we haven't even started the game yet, so let's go ahead and start the game. I'm so goddamn excited. Multiple save slots. I heard that was coming back, so that's good. I want the story, but do not want the struggle. Go easy on me. <laughs> uh, no. That's no fun, right? You gotta watch me fail miserably at Assassin's Creed again. Balanced experience. You know, I just noticed there's difficulty options. That's a first for Assassin's Creed. Like, I'm used to playing other games this past year that have difficulty settings. I totally blanked on that. We're picking a difficulty for Assassin's Creed. Of course, now that it has more RPG elements, I suppose that makes sense. And I can change the difficulty at any time. But this is the default level of the game, so this is what we're doing. We're gonna do normal. Let's do it. Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited! The hype just hit me all at once! I was just kinda like, Origins is coming out next week, yay! And now it's here and it's like, ah! <laughs> it's crazy. This animus design is cool. It looks very black flaggy with the wavy floor. But I suppose I should also point out the hat. I picked this up in a Michaels a couple weeks ago, and I've been waiting for the right time to use it. <laughs> so I hope you guys like. Here we go. And I should, probably should also point out, this isn't on an Xbox One X. It's just my standard Xbox One. So the graphics will still be gorgeous, but not like Xbox One X gorgeous, I'm sure. Siwa Oasis 49 BC. Oh my god. Oh man. Elefante. Oh crap, what's the eagle's name again? Uh, Senu? I think? Some type of festival going on. I don't know. Hey, there's Bayek. And Aya. So this is our home. Bayek lives in Siwa. And I assume this is when the invasion happens, right? Unless they're getting a visitor. They're probably getting a visitor. Because they seem to be preparing for their arrival. And they seem to be happy about it, so. Ah, okay. There he is. Totally me. I know those masks behind the pharaoh. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Back up a step. What the heck? You are the Magi from Siwa. I thought Magi was supposed to protect the pharaoh. I am Magi to no pharaoh. You see this? I can read my own name, Nat! Oh my god. We will find you. We will find you in your sleep! Sleep. I never sleep. I just wait in the shadows and I will kill you all! Everyone who sniffed the air that day in Siwa! Whoa! What a difference a year makes! So he... hates the Pharaoh, obviously. Are you throwing me into a boss fight immediately? Get the fuck out of here! You gotta. Okay. You killed my master okay. And left me for dead. Okay. That was a mistake. Your master was a murderer. I, I am his sworn bodyguard. It's a question of. So honor. I wore one of those masks. I am the nope. Of Siwa. 
then you are a worthy opponent. So it's the bumpers to smack people now. That's odd. Oh god. What's the dodge button? I don't know what the B X. Oh, it's X. Oh god, this is this is not going as well as I'd hoped. Woo! Come here, you bastard! Oh god. I would be proud to have fought the last Magi. <laughs> oh shit, that's probably bad. Whoa, whoa, hey now, whoa, hey now. You didn't tell me you were an earthbender. I call time out. I need to adjust my strategy. Oh boy. So I was happy to see the Pharaoh, then he betrayed me by sacking my city, and now I'm pissed, right? And I used to wear one of the masks that the Templar people, Templar people wear. Nope. They're not Templars yet, but, I mean, essentially they are. It's time to get up! Oh god. Do, do, do you mind not being so close to me? You're, you're big. A broken weapon won't save you. This place will serve as two to one of us. Well, looking at our health bar, I'd say it will not let it be me. You are not the one I've sworn to kill. Question of honor! It is a fight to the death! Well, if you insist. Eh! I see the scorpion on your shield, too, if that means anything. I don't know. I can't- oh, wait, it's it's teaching me how to do things. There we go. Yeah! There we go, okay. I know, I figured that out already, thank you. Okay. I am cutting him down, little by little. Emphasis on little. Oh god! Okay, so it's like Mirror's Edge, when the when the weapon turns gold, then I dodge. Like that! Yeah, okay. Hiya! Stop with the extra swing at the end. I, I stopped hitting X a long time ago. Come on, hit me, buddy. Psych! Okay. There we go. Okay, I got it now. I can only hit him three at a time before he gets out of my range. Woo! Nice lunge, buddy. Won't save you anymore! Yeah! Ooh. Anubis awaits you. That was in the face. Oh, it, it, taught, it taught me how to do a cool combo thing and I didn't do it, damn it. <laughs> For another day. I have a new weapon! I always forget which one's the pause button. But look at me, my hair's all grown out and everything. Dude. But, uh, wait, how do I do a thing? Oh, gear. Got it. Up here. <laughs> and again, like, I watched all the footage that was, like, debuted at E3 when this game was first revealed. And then I watched, like, a couple, like, the launch trailer, I watched that. And then, like, you know, the cinematic trailer, duh. But in terms of, like, gameplay demos and stuff, I haven't seen any gameplay demos aside from E3 and a couple of Achievement Hunter videos. And I hear the Assassin's Creed 2, like, Desmond music, too, which is awesome. But, uh, yeah, so, like, in terms of reading every article and watching every available footage before the game comes out, I haven't been doing that. I've been, like, you know, sustaining, you know, I've been resisting because I wanted a lot of this game to be left up to, to my surprise instead of being able to expect what's coming. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. So in terms of navigating the map and stuff, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. The maze is better, but, like, it's slow. I'm not a fan of slow, but whatever. We'll equip it. Why not? Okay. So, cool. Targets. Oh, the heron. Rujek. I just got him. Bayek trekked across the vast Egyptian desert to corner Rujek in the famous bent pyramid of Sneferu. S Sneferu? <laughs> Again, with the bad pronunciations. By X first kill, the death of Rujek brought on Anubis' apparent curse on the nature lines. Anubis. The Egyptian god of mummification. Nick. No way out. Nick. Interesting. Okay, well then you just- you climb out is what you do. It's what you do best. But anyway, like... Because Set is the god of the underworld and the god of death, I believe. Uh, no footholds here. I need to. F These scarabs must be coming from somewhere. Well, thank you for interrupting. Like, I'm supposed to know. I mean, yeah, I saw it. 
Some areas have hidden entrances. You mean besides this one? Is there a, can I sprint? That's not the button I wanted. Put it away. I put it away. Away. There's a crouch button. Away. Put it away. How do I put? I'm, I'm sure you'll do it automatically. There you go. Okay. God, I am going to be so bad at this game. Because, again, they've reworked the controls for, like, the fourth time this series. So I need to, like, I need to learn all over again how to play my favorite franchise. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but. All right, in we go. Oh, hold it. Got it. Dude, this is awesome! You throw me directly into a tomb? Are you trying to kill me, people? I went to the library, a local library near me, and I found a book on ancient Egypt, and they had a whole chapter on Ptolemaic Egypt, which is just what I was looking for. And I brought it home, and I sat down, and I was gonna read it, and then I was like, you know what? No. And I closed the book, and I brought it back a couple days later. Because I did that with Black Flag. I read a whole book on the Golden Age of Piracy before the game came out. And it was one of my biggest regrets with that game was reading about the era beforehand. Because it gave away a lot of stuff that was going to happen in the game. And I was like, oh, this is when this happens. Oh, and then this guy obviously dies. And oh, this guy was in prison for this long. And yeah, and Blackbeard was decapitated. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, it kind of ruined the immersion of the game for me. Because I had already kind of learned everything. And I didn't want to make that mistake again. So, yeah. I, I haven't read about this. Although, I do kind of wish I had my god straight. I know a couple of them, but... Definitely not all this of them. This must have been built centuries upon centuries ago. Hidden objects, you say? Like this chest! Forgive me, Great Amun. I have need of this. Amun-Ra? As in the, the Egyptian god of all Egyptian gods? <laughs> the Zeus of Egyptian mythology? Or the Odin, whichever you prefer. I think you meant Amun-Ra. Unless there's a Ra and an Amun and an Amun-Ra, in which case, what the heck, Egypt? Okay. I don't see anything here. Oops. I, <laughs> I held Y for Eagle Vision because that's what I'm used to. There's a lot of hidden shit over here. What is this? The riches of the ancients. I have eight gold. Damn it. Whoa. 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 Holy shit, Nuggets, man. Dude, why can't looting in Skyrim be this easy? I got a, I got a purple thing. What's a purple thing? Inventory. There it is. Trinkets. Bronze cup. Where's the cup bearer? This need, need, need this thing bleh, needs filling. Too much ex excitement for my tongue to work. Oh, so those are worth 25 each. Dang. So the, the purple stuff is more valuable. Got it. Okay. Oh, hello. Eh. There we go. Wait, what's that? Some tin shit. Oops. No, wait, what did I do? There we go. I, I hit a button and I don't know what I did. Salt. Keeps away the evil eye. Also tasty on boiled eggs. <laughs> An egg a day keeps the demons away. I want to get up there! Damn it. Well, whatever. I will waste my time going for like one trinket. That's probably like four gold anyway. Up we go. Okay, here we go. More stuff. I like stuff. I got a pelt for something. Okay, I think we're good. Down. Down. Well, why couldn't I jump? I wanted to, kind of wanted to jump and be cool, except I'm kind of desecrating the dead here, so sorry. <laughs> Never mind that. Ooh, is that Anubis? I think so. That, that little black dog looking thing. Or it could be set. Could also be set. I wonder if Bastet will be making an appearance. Did that just happen? It fucking did! Oh my god! I put the torch on the cobwebs and they disappear! Get up there, Bayek, and show them this! Look at that! Oh my god, that's amazing! Oh, that attention to detail makes me so happy! Oh, that makes me so happy! Look at it! 
Oh, that's amazing. That is so amazing. But anyway, as I was saying, I hope Bastet makes an appearance. That's the cat god. You know, because Egyptians loved their cats. Bastet was the god that the dead... Like, they mummified their cats like people, which is crazy. Uh, I did a report on Bastet in... 6th grade? It's pretty cool. Of course, I retained, like, maybe 2% of the information. But, yeah. Okay, still looking around here. I keep holding Y to do the eagle thing. That is gonna be a learning curve for sure. Whoa, hello. It's over here. Excuse me! I wanna get up there! I'm assuming I can't climb up this. Yeah. <laughs> a little too slick. Oh, wait, 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 I saw that. Up there. Right there. Okay, hold on. I can find a way up there. No problemo. I think. Also, do I have a scarab on my shield? The guy I just killed had a scorpion. I'm trying to turn to face the light, and I realize the light's in my hand, so that doesn't help at all. <laughs> Climb up! And jump! There you go. So, I don't need to hold down any buttons. I literally tap it when I need to jump, like a platformer. Uh, okay, Bayek, why don't you take a chill pill? Why don't you calm down, Bayek, and get- don't get stuck in the- Thank you, okay. Well, we found a bug already, but it's okay. <laughs> it was a minor one. Nothing to worry about. I also just realized I never actually jumped down, so, yeah. Okay, wait, where'd all those treasures go? Over there. Oh, the jumping is contextual too, okay. Yep. You kinda gotta hold it to swing. Okay, cool. Learning as we go. Who's this? That looks like it might be Osiris again. Didn't he have the yellow head? I think so. Or maybe Iris had it? I don't know. I, I think it's Osiris, because Iris, Isis. I think it's Isis, actually. Was, uh, Osiris's wife. And Horus was Osiris's son. Horus had the... He had, like, a... Falcon head? I don't know, guys. I don't remember, but this looks like Osiris, so I'm just gonna stick with it. If I'm wrong, correct me. Now I'm standing on his head. Pardon me, mister. Okay, let's just get down. Ouchies. More golden hair, indeed. I'm bloody rich! Ooh, that's a new weapon. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, it's a hammer. Okay. Like, not a war hammer. <laughs> All that's missing is a bell and a song. Ha 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 ha! Clever. Okay. Did I miss something? I don't think so. All the shining on these jewels is throwing me off. Okay. I mean, you guys know from my Assassin's Creed replay, I have a weak spot for shiny things. Well, okay then. I could have just gone through there instead of climbing all the way around. I'm an idiot! Alright, well, whatever. Let's go to the end of the chamber and see what we got. You know, it's odd that the menu music... We can get it to start, maybe. You don't want to play this time? Cool. Um, the, the menu theme is the Desmond theme. Desmond hasn't been in a game since 2012. Or 13, if you count the audio logs from, uh, from Black Flag. He still wasn't in the game. So that's an interesting detail to note. Maybe they're just going for nostalgia, because technically that's an Assassin's Creed 2 song too. Or... Nice roll, bruh. Maybe it means something else. Oh my god, I completely forgot! That hieroglyphics on the statue there, I completely forgot. So give me one second, and I'll be right back. It's right here. Pardon my PJs. <laughs> okay, so this, this, I think I showed off on, in my Dead Kings finale video way back when. And uh, it's old, so it's a little not in pristine condition, but it's a cartouche, which I believe it was a pre-order bonus exclusive to the UK. Um where you would get a cartouche with, I think, Bayek's name on it or something, um, which is cool, but I was like, <laughs> I already have one. 
This is actually my name in Egyptian hieroglyphics, from the top to bottom, J-A-N-A-E. And um, this actually came from Egypt when my grandparents went uh, to Egypt on a, on a trip. And they brought back one of these for me and both my sisters. And as far as I know, I'm the only one that's managed to not lose mine. <laughs> Um, cause I loved it. I thought it was incredible. And, uh, it's incredibly special to me now, especially because my grandpa passed away back in 2015. Um, if you guys have been around long enough for that, uh, you remember I took like two weeks off after he died and I had to go to his funeral and everything. It was very sad. And I was actually wearing this necklace the last time I saw him. So it is really special. To God damn it. <laughs> it's very special to me. And uh, what more perfect trinket to wear uh, for a game set in ancient Egypt, right? So I'm going to be wearing this cartouche, if I can remember, for the entirety of this series, at least the campaign. And uh, yeah, so I thought I would just elaborate on that for you guys. But anyway, enough talking, God damn it! <laughs> Let's get out of this tomb! <laughs> but okay, I think, uh, I, think I, I think I'm stuck. I don't really know where I'm going. <laughs> so hold on. That looks like it might be a handhold. There we go. Okay. So I don't necessarily need to hit anything either when I'm climbing up a wall. There they are. I, uh, I can just move the control stick up. I have a bow! Oh my god! I need that right now. Gear. Bow. Shit. Bow. There it is. Uh, let's see. 65! Holy shit! Okay. A light weapon used to target enemies in quick succession. Sounds good to me! Okay, so there we go. That's the theme I was talking about. That's totally Desmond's theme. Oh, I can pick my mount. How cute, but not yet. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, I just wanted to listen to that music for a little bit. So I have a bow now. Okay, left is bow, right is melee weapon. Okay, got it. I want my torch back, though, because it's dark in here. Okay. My episodes usually are around 20-25 minutes, unless I get carried away, which happens a lot. <laughs> but since this game came out yesterday and I'm not getting to play it until today, I'm going to make up for the wait by giving you a double feature in one video, right? So, because I love you. So, uh, I'm lost. <laughs> How do I get out of here? I am so unbelievably lost right now. Okay, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually think I may be stupid, so give me a moment. Yep. Just check. Jump. 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 Aha. Up there. Light. Yep, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was, I was wandering around like, I don't know where to go, on the complete wrong end of the tomb. I don't want to drop my torch. I like my torch. They really mask the climbing walls a lot better, too. Like, I didn't see that. I wouldn't have checked this statue first, but I saw the prompt, so... There we go. Okay. Uh, this wall. You mean it was a wall? It's a powerful torch indeed. Oh, shit. Well, that's probably bad. I can drop the torch now because I can see. I can, I, 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 I can drop it now. Okay. There we go. <laughs> God damn it, Bayek. Soldiers. Of course. Is that I am? Um, no, maybe. I don't know. But obviously, he's a friend of mine. Stop it! Die! <laughs> I mean, I swung the wrong way, but I, I dodged him, which is cool. Also, I forgot to lock onto him, so that's why I'm missing. Oh shit! You mother- Okay. Yeah! You need to- You need to just calm the fuck down and let me save my friend. No! Watch out! Fire! Right, so who's a, what's his name? Excuse me? It is an ambush! You are telling me! <laughs> no, lock on to him, damn it! Got him! Ooh! His, uh, his head is no longer in One Piece. I did it! After being lost in a tomb for like 20 minutes. <laughs> I was also I see you have made so. new friends. They were setting up an ambush. It's a good thing I came to welcome you, huh? Ah! <laughs> it's been months. Look at that beard, huh? It's been nearly a year, my friend. 
feels good to get out and fight. I am out of practice. In Siwa, everyone differs to the soldiers on pain of death, or worse. I've killed one of the masked ones. The head on. Whatever, Sabus. Oh, more. Mm. Come. It has been a long road. You need rest. I also no. may need like a napkin to wipe off no my rest. face or something. And the rest. Of until me. all the masked ones' guts lie baking in the sand. God, I have missed you. <laughs> Get the camel. <laughs> I'm the only one out of my two sisters that's never mind? actually seen a real camel in real life. Uh, I think my younger sister saw one in Morocco, and then my uh, older sister got to see and ride one in Australia. Hepzefa, that's your name. I called. I called my mount. My mount. There we go. Jesus. Ah, there you are, boy. Let us go, Sally. How have you been holding up since I left? Hey, I'm riding a camel! Forget what I said, I've ridden a camel now. To me to keep order. But the soldiers have set up a garrison and they rule over all. A garrison oh, in Siwa? Ptolemy wants the entire region kept on the hill. I do my best to keep the villagers out of trouble. I could use your help. Oh, wow. I'll do what I can. But do not forget, I have my own justice to pursue. Ah, I knew I could count on you, Sunny. Does that mean like friend or something? Because Senu, maybe that's the female version of friend, because languages besides what happened English here? do that. The garrison soldiers are brutal. Oh, shit. If they suspect a villager is lying to them, they burn his neighborhood. And worse. I'm. Excuse me. Is that a viewpoint? Oh. I thought I saw something glow up there. But perhaps I am wrong. Nope, I'm wrong. Whatever. <laughs> Not gonna waste time climbing a stick if I don't need to. I'm sure the game will give me my first viewpoint when the time comes. Oh. Welcome home, Bayek. See what has missed you. Oh, wow. I've discovered Siwa, the place that I've lived my entire life. I just found it. <laughs> Weird how the space-time continuum works. Pardon me, civilians. Don't mind me. I'm your protector, so I will not run you over. Your farm, your goods, your children. You owe your very lives to His Highness, Ptolemy, the benefactor, ruler of the two lands. Two lands? Would that be Egypt and Nubia, potentially? Yeah. I mean, like, I'd know, right? Again, I didn't read up on this. I could have. I totally could have, and I almost did, but I didn't. Pardon me, everyone. Out of the way! Chariot races. Interesting. Hello, sir. Nice spear. God, this game is beautiful! Look at it! I mean, besides the oasis, the rolling sand hills really reminded me of Uncharted 3. Um, hey, they know me! Hi! <laughs> but, yeah, so... Oh, pardon me, sir. What's with all the sheep statues? Is that a personification of a god or something? Whoa, hello. That looks fancy. Thank you for waiting for me, Hepzefa. Hep Hepzef. Yes, I got it right. Okay. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Pardon be me, careful, madam. by it. Behold, what's See, what's not like it was. I mean, okay. I feel like I. I mean, he said it's been a year, so I feel like I haven't been here in a while. Synchronized to just get. Is that a view? Is that what viewpoints look like now? Ooh, I think it is. The fast travel points have been viewpoints for a long time, so I think. I think that's a viewpoint, and I know we're supposed to be following Hepzefa on the camel, but I think I really- Oh, he's taking me towards it anyway, so maybe I gotta do it. Okay, hold on. Hey there! Ah, home. How do I get off? <laughs> Leave your mouth, you will not stray far. How do- how do I do Go that? ahead, on in. Tell me how to use my legs. There we go, hold me, okay. <laughs> not hitting in yet. I am gonna do this viewpoint, and then I'm gonna end the episode because I've been going for 45 minutes, and I'll be doing some cutting, but for the most part, 
this video is gonna be 40 minutes. Oh, that music. That's the that's the viewpoint approaching synchronized music. <sighs> oh, it totally is too. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? Our very first viewpoint in Assassin's Creed Origins. Here we go. God, I cannot believe it's finally here, you guys. My cheeks hurt. I've been smiling so goddamn much. Oh my god. I cannot. I just can't. I can't. I can't. Viewpoints are always incredibly special to me, because the first one marks the beginning of a new adventure, pretty much, and the last one marks, like, almost the ending of the adventure, even though it might not be the last thing I do in the game. It's still kind of like our last viewpoint until next year, you know? Or maybe not even. We might be getting them every other year from this point on. Who knows? But, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this game. I'm excited about the present day. I'm excited about open world shenanigans. I'm excited about Egypt. I'm excited about all the characters and all the lore we're going to discover. I'm excited about everything. And this game feels so goddamn good, even though I'm so bad at it. <laughs> I am so just hyped about this game. I've been really trying to keep it under control for a long time. But... I am hyped to the 11th degree right now. This is so exciting that we're finally playing a new Assassin's Creed after an entire year break. And I cannot wait to explore the entirety of this world with you guys. But for now, uh, I'm going to end this right here. But we're going to pick it up. And you guys are going to be getting an Assassin's Creed Origins video both today on Saturday and tomorrow on Sunday. And then, no video Monday, but Tuesday is Halloween, and that's, of course, for the one-hour Halloween special. So, one full hour of The Evil Within 2 is coming out uh, on Tuesday, and then after that, it's probably going to be Origins for a while. <laughs> but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So, I hope you guys are enjoying my playthrough of Assassin's Creed Origins. Like and favorite if you are, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in my next video. Farewell, friends.